Hi everyone! Welcome to my cooking and gardening channel. I'll be cooking uh, today. I'll be cooking a red snapper. There you go. Red snapper. It's already been uh, cut into pieces. And the ingredients, the, the ingredients for that is um, green onions, chopped Spanish onions, chopped garlic, sweet peppers, red and orange uh, tomatoes, organic from my garden, and three eggs. And for the spices and seasoning, I'll be using black pepper, salt, um, fish sauce, and olive oil. Of course, I have water also for the gravy. So with the fish, you have to season that with salt. You do like this. And black pepper. While we're doing that, I have to turn on the wok and flip that, be sure that it's uh, seasoned well. Flip and put some more pepper or put it according to your taste. But I like pepper. Okay, so that's ready to be fried. And when the wok is hot, you have to put, I'm using olive oil, just a small amount of that, there you go. Alright, yeah, we have to start frying and Be sure that it's dry. Okay. There you go. Just like that. Just like this. See? All right. Hidden. All right. You can see this, guys. Just you don't need a lot of oil. So go, let's do that. This menu, uh, salsado or uh, salsa, is almost similar to uh, sweet and sour. So just cook and brown it. Okay. This fish is a thick uh, white fish uh, fish called the uh, red snapper. Okay, so we just try to turn it around. So while waiting for that, I'm going to get the eggs and stir it. Like this. And uh, also, if you want to use the uh, hot chili instead of uh, red pepper or uh, like this, it's okay too. It's up to you. Now that's ready to go. All right. Let's see this one. I'm gonna turn this. Yeah, let me get more brown. Like that. Like that. And we dry that the piece of the paper towel. Mm 
All right. That's dry. Okay, I'll take that. Try it until uh, golden brown. It's not ready. Yep. Here we go. Be sure that the oil is really hot. Try. There we go. If you want to add oil, if you want to add oil, add that on the side like this, so you don't disturb the temperature all right this will take a while and yeah this is brown now it's turning brown Yep. Yeah, it's going down. Looks good. Just like that. Again, I'm still not ready, not quite. Just golden brown. Because we're going to cook that again with the sauce later on. So, Also put another one here, but I don't want to disturb the heat, uh, the temperature. So okay, I turn that and this one, this side. Not not quite ready that one. I'll turn it like this around. Here we go. Looks good. I'm going to get the paper towel to bring the oil. And all right. good. All right. If you want to eat yummy foods, you have to be patient. 
you have to be patient when the, this, this thing uh, gets cooked. It's almost there. There you go. Another one here, but okay. All right, good. That's so hot. Okay, this one is ready. We'll bring that one. And I want it like golden brown. This is pretty, like white, so I'm not. This one is okay. Now I can put the other two. Let's do that so we can disturb the temperature. Alright. Flip it. That's brown. That's a nice color. And turn the side to brown. There we go. Turn the other side too. With regard to fish, you can use any fish you want. You can use tilapia or uh, milk fish. It's okay too. Here we go. Crispy. All right, this is done. I'm going to flip that. Very brown. And flip that inside. Turn around to balance the cooking. There you go. It's still pretty white, so I need to uh, cook this a little bit more. Like this. Golden brown. Turn that so it's there. Red snapper is a thick white flesh fish, and this is really suited for uh, sarciado or uh, sweet and sour dish. This one, I put it here. Turn it around. Then go. Few more seconds. Another side, we'll turn it out, the other side. Like that. To brown it. Okay. And flip the other side too. I 
and ground up. And a few little seeds. Yep. Just give me a second. All right. For uh, the pan, you don't need you don't need to wash it because you're cooking the same amount, the same uh, um, dish. I'm going to use that to saute the ingredients. It's a bit oh, sorry, too much. Too much oil. Okay, so now I have to start sauteing the ingredients. This is Spanish onions. You can put everything and garlic, chopped garlic, like this. Stir it like that, and then some green onions. I'm going to save some for the garnishing, just for the garnishing later, and stir. For color, I cut the, some of the green onions into about half an inch or one inch because I don't have no green uh, sweet paper, I got my red and orange. So for color, I'll uh, put some green uh, slices of onions. And you can put tomatoes or add tomatoes, give it a stir. It's colorful already. And you can also add sweet pepper like that. Like this. And you can add a bit of black pepper too. Put it according to your taste again. And you notice that I didn't put any salt. The reason for that is because the fish has already been salted. Fish has already been salted. So I'm not putting no more uh, salt and this uh, sauce and also I'm putting uh, fish sauce which is uh, salty more of salt so I'll put about one tablespoon or two depends like how much uh, ingredients you have so this is about two tablespoon to give a uh, extra taste and flavor just like that all right give it a stir this is a uh, nice looking uh, gravy because of the color there you go and if you want a little bit more of a gravy 
You can also put water. I'll put a bit of water. You have to put it on the side like that so you won't disturb the heat temperature. You can go like that. It's still sizzling, bubbling. Bubbles. There you go. And also you can add fish or red snapper like this and add like that there you go add like that mm. it's a so colorful colorful And for quick cooking, you can cover that too. So I'm going to cover that. It will take only a few seconds. Cover that for quick cooking. And in the meantime, I'm going to stir the eggs again. And this is for garnishing later. I saved some uh, chopped green onions for garnishing and the finished uh, uh, dish layer. So give it a stir. Looks good. Okay, we'll check it. Yeah, it's going good. few more seconds just a few seconds Okay, we'll give it a stir. I'm going to try that, taste it before I put the eggs. I want to put so with this amount of dish, I use two and a half. Two and a half three sauce. A little bit more like um, salt flavor. Okay. Now I'm going to add the eggs. I want to put the egg here? I'm going to add it now. Just like that. Once you add the eggs, don't stir it. Not until uh, it uh, bubbles. When the eggs get settled, you can stir it. This side is a little bit okay. Yeah, it's not here. This side is too much. 
Balance the heat. There you go. Mm, looks yummy. And smell yummy. This one is not. Okay. I'll give it another taste and then it's all set. See, guys? It's very simple and easy. This is it. It's ready to go. See, it's quick. It's very simple and uh, easy to cook dish. So that's done. I'm going to turn off the wok. And we'll do the plating. I'm going to use the For that, because a little bit, oh, maybe everything will. There you go, guys. Look at that. Very nice. Look at this. Wow. It's a wow. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Looks yummy. And for the extra onions, you can put that on the top as a garnish like this. It's up to you if you want to cook that. It's up to you. And cook with the rest of the ingredients. But for me, I like to put a little uh, garnish on the top like that. So, okay, we'll try. We'll see. We'll see the, the verdict. Or here, let's hear the verdict. Alright, I'll get this food. And this dish, by the way, guys, if you're not Filipinos, we don't know, for Filipinos, we used to put this at the top of our rice. But this time, I'm not doing that. Okay, I'll try. I'll try the big one. There you go. I'll try the taste of this. Okay, we'll try this. Oh wow! Look at this, guys. Look, the meat is so thick and it's white. Hmm. Smells good. This is for you guys. Hmm. Good, very good. Yum yum. One more. And The pepper, I love sweet pepper. This is just right, half cup. Mmm. Very good. Really good. So, okay guys. I hope you like my, my cooking. I cook this for you. Um, I'm going to finish my series of uh, cooking this week. Because as I announced earlier, it's uh, springtime here in Canada. So I'm going to feature my uh, organic vegetable garden called the uh, BTA or Back to Eden Garden and my um, collection of um, annual and perennial uh, flowers. So anyway, I hope you enjoy and uh, enjoy watching my uh, cooking. Um, please like, comments, leave a comments or share and uh, do subscribe because 
your subscription or uh, like will help me to keep uh, going and cooking. So, okay for now. Thank you very much for watching. And I want to say goodbye. Bye. God bless. Bye. Mm.